Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you could freeze panes in Microsoft Excel. And as full disclosure, before we jump into it, I work at Microsoft. So why would you wanna freeze panes? Well, what you could do is when you freeze panes, you could basically lock, uh, let's say a row, or you could lock a column in your spreadsheet. So when you scroll down the sheet, that row continues to show up, or if you scroll over to the side, that column continues to show up. Well, instead of me explaining, why don't we just jump on my PC and I could show you exactly what I mean, and then I'll show you how to do it. All right, let's jump on the PC. Here I am on my desktop, and today for this uh, example, I'm gonna be using Excel that comes with Office 365. This is the latest and greatest, but even if you have Excel 2019, 2016, 2013, or any other older version, Freeze Panes has been there for a while, and you should be able to follow along. So here's what I mean by you know needing to be able to freeze panes. So here in my list, you know, see I, I have these column headers. I have first name, last name, street address, uh, but I have a pretty long list of values here. So as soon as I scroll down, if I go down the page, I might not remember oh, what is the value in this column or what was this supposed to be. Uh, so what I'd probably want to do is I want to be able to see what the header is as I scroll down the sheet. So that's where freeze panes comes in handy. Uh, so to get to freeze panes, what you do is you click on the view pivot up on top of Excel, and then you'll notice an option called free panes with a little snowflake there. So what I can do is I'll click on this, and uh, what you'll see is I can freeze the top row. And so if I click on that one, what you'll see is you'll see this darker line underneath the header now. So now when I scroll down, you'll see that my header stays in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's unfreeze the panes. I can also now freeze the first column. So if I click on that, now you'll notice if I scroll over to the right, my first column stays in place. So that's pretty nice that I could freeze the top row over the first column. But what if I wanna freeze both? So I'm gonna click my mouse over here, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on split. And so you'll see that it's added these bars in my sheet. So I can move this and I could decide where I want the split to happen. So in this case, I'm gonna move the horizontal bar up to the top and the vertical bar there. And so now you'll see I have my first column behind this bar and then the top row behind that bar. So now what I can do is I can go to freeze panes and now I'm just gonna click on freeze the panes. And so what that's done now is now you see a thicker line uh, over here and up here. And so now if I scroll down the sheet, you'll see that my header stays in place. And if I scroll to the right, my first column stays in place. So that's how I could very easily freeze the top row, the first column, or I could also decide where I want the split to happen. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and unsplit and we'll get rid of the splits there. And now I'm back to my normal data. So that was a very quick tutorial on how you could use freeze panes to keep either a row or column in view all the time. And I also showed you how you could split it and you could define where those splits appear within your sheet. And then when you're satisfied with where the split is, you could go ahead and freeze it. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful. If you were able to successfully freeze your Excel worksheet, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And if you're trying to learn anything else, if you wanna learn tips and tricks about anything, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And hey, hope you enjoyed. That's all I had for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.